swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow's so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is comments that Timothy Bradley made about Javante Tank Davis and then just said he is rooting for Ryan Garcia in their upcoming fight, which has been reported is scheduled and going to take place. Uh, let's listen to what Timothy Bradley had to say, and then we're going to react to it. All right, so this is Timothy Bradley and this – Video appears courtesy of Fight Hub. Yeah. I'm not a fan of what he does and how the way he operates outside the ring, you know. And and I and I want I want Ryan Garcia to knock his ass out. Knock him out. I don't like the guy because of that. I just don't like the guy for what I hear and, and what I see. You know, I think he's I think he's a piece of shit. I honestly do. He's a piece of shit. You know, you put your hand on the women on women like that, bro. You a piece of shit, my book, bro. You're not a man. You know, my dad always told me you're a coward, you do something like that. You a coward. Deep down inside, you a coward. Because you got to pick on somebody that can't even defend themselves. Bro, that's that's not right. And and I'm not stupid. I listened to the video. I heard him in the back. Oh, I heard him saying some stuff in the background on the audio. So, like, I don't, I don't appreciate that type of behavior from any man. Because I'm not a fan of Tank. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a fan of him. I'm not a fan of what he does and how the way he operates outside the ring. You know? And, and, I, and I want so those are the words of Timothy Bradley stating that he's not a fan of Tank and you heard the reasons why and he's rooting for Ryan Garcia. Conspiracy, G, what's your reaction to that? I mean, I, I can see where he's coming from. You know, uh, I don't know what video he's referencing, you know, but um, like, hey, if, if this is real, like, I, I kind of see what Timothy's saying, man, even though to me it's like, as a, another public figure, I think you should keep your, you know, your opinions to yourself, you know, but I don't know, you know, like, if this is how this, this is his convictions, you know, so, I mean, I can't be mad at the man for having an opinion, you know, um, but I don't know, man, it's just, it, it, it's, it's real sticky, you know, but. But I could see either side of things, you know, like, I don't know, man. Like, you know, Tank, you know, Tank, obviously, if, if this is real, Tank has some maturing to do, right? But I feel like Timothy Bradley, as an older gentleman, you know, instead of going to the media like that, I think he should reach out to Tank himself and try to talk to him. Like, yo, listen here, man. Yo, we don't do that. We don't hit women, yada, 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 you know? Um, so, but him going to the media and then saying he's rooting for, for Ryan because of it, uh, I don't know if Timothy should have done that, to be honest, you know? So it, it's tough, but I'm not mad at what Timothy's saying, you know? Like, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. I just don't feel like he should share that, that opinion publicly like that. All right, Dollar Bill. Wow, Timmy. <laughs> he, he, he totally jumped out the window. No parachute on the home <clears throat> team. Um, look, I, I, I stand on, you know, he's, a, he's innocent to proving guilty, you know. I mean, look, he's a young guy. They call him a piece of way he had done. Listen. Everybody grows up differently, you know? Um, like G said, maybe you could have hollered at the young brother on a personal note or I don't know. Man, listen, you have a right to feel whatever you want to feel. You have a right to your opinion. You decided to do, you voice your opinion the way you did. Um, 
it just contradicts things that you say as far as certain type of athletes sticking with each other and making sure that, you know, I don't know, man. Um, I don't know how to feel about it, really. I just think I wish you would have went about it a different way. I just don't like we to see the, I don't know. I don't know, but hey, whatever. Timothy, <laughs> he has a right to say whatever he, he feels, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe Tinkton said some things about Timothy Bradley, you know, now, but I remember he said stuff about Timothy Bradley's resume. Maybe of course, he has credentials, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe this is the backlash from that, you know, he's like, oh, all right, since he said this question about my, my, my resume, then. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get back at him for this. Maybe it was a tiff for tap for that. You know, but that's how I'm seeing it. That's my take. All right, T B E. Yo, there's a saying that goes on. There's a saying that we have on the show. Take the bicep out your mouth, Timothy. Take it out your mouth. Pause. Pause. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. But what I'm saying is, Timothy, you're bashing. Like, you know, you get too, you too. I feel like Timothy gets too into, gets way into a role where he's like, he has to hate a fighter and he does it on a point where it's like, we want this fighter. I know you're trying to. Tank and Ryan are up in the air right now. You know, it's like they're free agents and things like that. And you, you know, I guess ESPN wants to court Ryan, which is not the best investment. But you don't have to bash the the. You don't have to bash Tank. You don't have to do this that that. If this is personal feelings you have towards Tank, Timothy, I'm gonna say it like that. Timothy, I'm not gonna call him Tim or Bradley, whatever. Timothy, if this is <laughs> your personal feelings towards him. Then y'all, y'all should really schedule a, 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 a exhibition. I would like to see that. I like to see how that works out. You want to talk about how this man does this, that, this things that happen allegedly, or things that happen in the past where this man's trying to move on from, where he make people make mistakes and things happen, but you don't want to, uh, you don't want to see him grow as a fighter. You don't want to see him grow as a human being. And you want to sit there and hold on to him, judge him because because uh, of his past. You don't want to accept that he's. Learned from his past experiences is messed up, and I don't like that. And I don't, I don't really, I'm not a fan of Timothy Bradley because you, you really, you're really a DS, yo. When I say DS, it's you know I can't say it. It got bleeped out. He, he got it got bleeped out. Again. He, he, he got bleeped out. Hey, the, the words and opinions of Ned the TVE do not reflect <laughs> the boxer bros as a whole and all the other faces you see on the screen. Go ahead, TVE. Man. Get your neck, get a coffee, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <baby. laughs> yeah, yeah, Tim. Move back. Move back. Yes, like, yo, be be unbiased when you 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 when you're um you're speaking about fighters because it's insane how you speak, and then I look at you. I'm like, why is this man on his knees? I'm like, why? Why are you in? you you are fighting yourself and you deserve your glory? You know, like Timothy Bradley, he had some great fights in his days. But sometimes I'll be like, yo, man, you're a fighter, yo. You like fight. Don't get on your knees, man. Like it's like that's crazy, but you know. This is our fault. This is not our fault. It's his fault. No, I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm a no association to anything you just said. In fact, I want complete distance in. My question is, we were letting you go. We didn't interrupt you. Normally, we would interrupt you to prevent some of what you stated. But see, people would then get mad and then say that we keep interrupting you and then we keep. So I just want this to play out as evidence of why we do what we do. And what we don't do, we do what happens. So now y'all see, y'all can shut the hell up. Really bad, back, really bad, really bad, really bad. Everything that happened before it never happened. I'm just saying, <laughs> please, 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 don't come in with your prejudice. Just like let fight. You, you, you see, you think there's things, yeah, fighters do that we don't accept. And 
you got to just see what you got to really understand a fighter before you judge a fighter. That's all I'm saying, Timothy, because you were a fighter once and you got to put yourself in those fighter shoes because you you've been there. That's all I'm saying, Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley. I'm calling you Tim now. I said I'll never call you Tim. I call you Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley, be more understanding of their current situation and the lifestyles they live. Because you're no longer there and you really show when you speak, you show that you don't under, you show no understanding of the backgrounds they come from and where what they're dealing with in the in the moment of a big fight or a certain situation. But Ryan versus Ryan versus um Tank, oh, this is gonna be a blast. Everybody enjoy. My man, it's my man TVE's birthday. So I happy birthday, to TV. Happy birthday to TVE. And you know, people celebrate on their birthday. Sometimes they celebrate the night before their birthday. It was a long night for my man, the TVE. So bear with my man's the TVE. Now, um, when it comes to this situation, I feel a few things. I feel like Timothy Bradley, to me, was too willing to bash Tank Davis um, on a public forum, even if there was sufficient evidence to support the allegations. So what I've seen was Tank Davis grab a woman at a public event and drag her from the public event. But I didn't see him hit her. I didn't see him strike her. Um, it looked physical. Um, you know, it, it was bad. I, I will admit that. <clears throat> um, and, you know, I wouldn't have done it. And, you know, I wouldn't have allowed it to have been done if it was someone who I knew or someone I was related to. But with that being said, it wasn't what Timothy Bradley was saying. Um, and then Timothy Bradley said he heard Tank yelling in the background on the 911 call as if that means he was doing something wrong. He could have been yelling about a number of things. He said she put stuff on her. St- well, that, that was when he came back. But if someone's going to put crap on someone's toothbrush, who knows what they would do? And he could have been yelling about a number of things. Just because you yell doesn't mean you're going to hit someone. You know, um, I yell at G all the time. I never hit G unless we got on boxing gloves and we sparring. Like, you know, um, I yell at Trill all the time. I never hit Trill unless we eat boxing. <laughs> like, so, um, you know, I don't hit Ned because I don't want no problems. If I hit Ned, I feel like everyone's going <laughs> to. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I hit Nate, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of problems. I don't want no problems with. with so yeah, I, I just, I just, I just was just. I knocked on G's window. I got threatened with violence. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, yeah. So what I'm saying is like, um, you know. I I personally, you know, wouldn't wouldn't do it. But here's my thing with um Timothy Bradley. Like you heard yelling, but you didn't you didn't see anyone hit someone. Yelling doesn't always lead to hitting someone. Sometimes people yell in passionate arguments, debates, whatever. If, if couples yell at each other all the time, don't mean that they hit each other. So, because you heard him yelling in the background, that isn't proof of anything. So then he labels him as a piece of ish. Um, what's dangerous about that is Timothy Bradley. You are a public figure. You're a media person. Um, you work for ESPN, and you say all these things about Javante Tate Davis, and you're entitled to your opinion, of course, and you could say that off air but when you say that on camera it seems like your intention is to make tank look bad and to persuade other people to have that opinion of tank and like i said you can say whatever you want about tank but to me 
it just makes you look bad, Timothy. Because I would, I can't imagine Andre Ward would have done that. I don't imagine Mike Kegel would have done that. Um, all the other people you work with wouldn't have done that, but you're the one who's doing that. And I get it. You can see it as you're the one who's keeping it real. But sometimes when you're the only one keeping it real, it's a sign that you're the only one who's keeping it real unprofessional. Right. So. My thing is, if you really don't like Tank that much, why don't you make 140 and fight him? Because y'all both can get paid. It'll be it'll be interesting. And Timothy, man, you were a really good fighter in your day. I mean, I know you were tired for reasons. I don't know. It was medical reasons. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Dog Bill. No, no. He said he was going to get down to 147 for his uh, uh, induction. And, yeah. Yeah. And They'll take to meet you at 147, and you'll take that fight. Uh-oh. But, no, nah, I I just feel like, to me, when once you're – this isn't this isn't excusing Tank. This is a I expected more for Timothy. Um, as as Timothy Bradley is a Hall of Famer, Timothy Bradley is uh, a commentator. Timothy Bradley is, you know, in my opinion, I I I hold him in higher regard than Tank in terms of expectations. So I expect Timothy to or or make that statement, but be more eloquent say it in a manner in which it isn't so just it seems personal like you know could it just say like i don't condone what i've seen from him grabbing women and taking them out of the games and then you have this young lady reporting um acts of domestic violence and then recanting i understand that she recanted but sometimes people recant and the situation actually happened my opinion of tank is that he needs to get it together uh, I'm not a big fan of Tank, and so I'm rooting for Ryan Garcia. You could do all that, but when you say it the way you said it, it does sound like you're mad. He questioned your Hall of Fame credentials. And then you say, this isn't even about that. Well, it seems like it's about that. You get professional answers for every other question that people ask you. But when they asked you about Tank Davis, you got real personal, and you got real upset, and then you you brought up everything you could to make that dude look bad. So I'm just saying it seems a little personal, but hey, man, maybe I'm wrong. But, you know, you 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 jump to what you jump to. I'm jumping to it just seems like you don't like tanking. And that was personal. So, yeah, and we got on tank and we got on tank when he went against your resume. So I don't want nobody saying that we picking sides. You know? F what they say because they're going to say it anyway. Right? Yeah. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Fox.